My name is Luis Conde Navarro. I'm living in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is how I live. So I'm an up-and-coming MMA fighter. I've been training mixed martial arts, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, anything combat-based. I'm all in for it right now. So I really started training Muay Thai um, 2013 when I kind of got into some trouble and I had to do some probation. Um, I was just trying to find another way to uh, outlet my energy and just really try to find another way to occupy my time other than, you know, going to parties and, and doing that stuff. When I really decided this is the path that I wanted to go down, uh, I eventually moved to California where I really started training uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. After that, it was kind of rap. I kind of just fell in love with it. I fell in love with the lifestyle. I fell in love with the, you know, training in the morning, training at night, you know, relaxing during the day and really recovering during the day, but still keeping the discipline, knowing that you have to be at training sessions, knowing that, you know, you can't go out partying Thursday and Friday night because you got to get back to it on Monday or you have a hard sparring session on Saturday. So it kind of really developed discipline that I didn't have before. Really, um, it gave me accountability because if you know if you have someone that really believes in you and sees the potential, they want you to be in the gym, you know, nine, eleven o'clock because they're putting their time and effort into you. So you got to be accountable for what you do, and it kind of gave me the accountability and the discipline to uh, chase my dream and really just make this a career choice for me. I haven't really told a lot of people this. My father did pass away in uh, February. So it was definitely one of the one of the things where it's like he was a, a major support system in not only for me, but for my family. And when you're going down this path of this lifestyle of trying to be a fighter, there's it's very hard in the in the beginning because you're not going to make a lot of money to be able to train all the time, to be able to pay these gym memberships. You can't have a you know, a full time job. I'm not on full time salary anywhere, you know, so to live this lifestyle is really rough. You need a lot of family support. You need a lot of friend support. So that was a big hit for me, knowing that I'm not going to be able to have that backbone support like, hey, I'm having a, a you know, I had a, a rough day. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep living this lifestyle when I'm in the gym six hours a day, especially with the money, you know, getting getting tight in situations nowadays, especially with all the COVID stuff. It's very hard for you to stay motivated, and especially for me, for me to have stayed motivated and really stay on track with my goals. So I would say that's definitely the hardest part, but I'm learning every day to balance, I would say, life and what goes on in life. And I'm still learning to deal with it today. And I know a lot of people that go through, you know, family tragedies and stuff like that. I don't really know how to deal with it myself. But what I know is helping me is just being able to talk to your friends and family, you know, finding whatever activities that help you, you know, channel whatever you're going through in a positive way. So whether it's yoga, whether it's, you know, going swimming or trying to find something, some type of activity to channel some of those negative thoughts that anyone's going to get, you know, when they deal with some tragedy like that. That's definitely the hardest for me. For sure. I'm just inspired by the daily struggle, knowing that, you know, some days are going to be hard, some days are going to be, are going to go by pretty smooth. You're going to have difficulties some days, other days you're not. Uh, you're going to be stressed one day, you're not going to be stressed. So it's, I kind of just take that all into motivation to kind of get into the gym, go hard on my sessions, go hard on my training, because I know that, yeah, the world is difficult, but it's not always raining every single day. There's always going to be, you know, a sun, at, you know, sunshine at the end of the tunnel or whatever they say.